you welcome back to my channel my name is camille and this video is going to be a full not completely full week of some hair struggles and some skincare ups and downs so this one is deciding what to do with my hair i want to use a mousse i also want to use that curl defining gel with some oil that will help dry out my hair dry my hair quicker with a blow dryer but i need to do my little tail on the back so i do not have any tangles in the near future when i do another wash day so as always i add some conditioner not a leave-in conditioner brush it through and i am going to use this little um paul mitchell heat protectant as well as um makes my hair nice and shiny and braid my hair and finger coil the ends so it's not gonna unravel so i'm gonna split my hair into two parts clip one side make sure my hair is nice and damp not wet but it is a bit on the dry side so i'm just gonna spritz some water mist i guess and use this curly tight curl enhancer which i got from the dollar tree and apply that to the hair i'm not gonna add too much because i feel I'm, i am going to wash my hair again because i want to use something that you'll see later on in the video so once i'm satisfied with adding the curl enhancer i am then going to use this after to seal it in because it is an oil and i know that if you have an oil onto hair you want to seal in so i thought gel before oil not oil before gel you know and then do the same thing as if that first products were leave-in conditioners this is the curl cream i.e my conditioner to add a bit more moisture once i'm satisfied with the saturation i applied it's time to detangle again with my pocahontas wet brush and once i'm satisfied with that and i didn't pull much hair out i'm going to bring out some mousse now it's been a while since i've used a mousse um at least two weeks so this is different this is more of a water-based i would say compared to the other one that I use and I for sure added way too much into my palm because I was having fun so my hair was a bit on the crunchy mousse side so I then needed to grab my t-shirt that I used to wrap it after the shower to soak up the remaining mousse and try to eliminate the whole bubbles that you hear because it's not fully saturated in the hair then do the other side now i am going to show you how i blow dry which is with a revlon old revlon blow dryer i am first of all trying to find the hottest one or maybe it was medium a warm one or the other and get in a comfortable position to blow dry now this whole blow dry process is very tedious and i know i'm gonna have to do it when colder weather comes along because i cannot go to bed with wet hair and by the time i was done with this session it wasn't completely dry i would say maybe 80 to 20 it was a lot of work I could have done another session but I didn't because I was tired and I wanted to go to bed. So this is what it looks like. Now you can totally tell it is not dry because it kind of looks like it's still wet which I think it is but that could be also be like a cast from the mousse that was applied because I know not all the hair strands were saturated with the mousse. So. 
contemplating on doing it but i didn't so next day this is later in the week i was gonna hang out with a friend and i needed to get ready because we were just gonna go to a movie and i noticed i have a new milia right next to my eye and i thought it might be just a pimple but nope it was not and he even thought why not just pinch it out because it looks like it's ready and it wasn't so i just brought out my hydro boost toner to hydrate my skin because i went crazy on the wednesday for retinol day i used a face mask that had retinol and then my normal retinol from honest beauty product so that kind of damaged my hair so then i am now going to just do oh, the rest of the week just face mask or hydrating stuff because that's all i can do now you do not see that I use a 50 plus cream. No. But next is this mixture of just purified water and a bit of the conditioner I tend to use. And just this oil. Because once I took my hair out from the shirt, it was already more dry than... I wanted it to be and I didn't want to add too much water to my hair because I was going to use that palmetto oil and just be a, at that just spritz a bit more of that conditioner slash water mixture and a little bit more of the oil because I want to do something else with my hair later on with some curling products rods anywho yeah so this is now the next day or maybe the same day i'm not quite sure but i wanted to do it but i also was tired so i didn't know if i wanted to do it but i wanted to showcase i got some bumps on my forehead i'm kind of thinking my retinol day on wednesday was a bit too aggressive i still have milia on my cheeks and one right next to my eye my right eye and then i got some clogged pores in my nose which is expected and then some redness on the sides of it and on the apples of the cheeks i guess i do have scars that's clarice right or clara and the one underneath diagonals and then that's papaya i think and then i forgot what that one was there's the nose one. I'd probably call it Nicole. Anywho, there's also some other scars on my cheeks. And then I kind of had like a little bit of a rash scratch session on the side of my neck. So I got to be careful with that. So yeah. Now, I have some broken skin. So I have also damaged my face as well as my hand due to eczema and washing hands and not using lotion after washing your hands to hydrate and I've, I've broken my skin barrier pretty severely you can see the plasma seep through anywho this day evening i also just wanted to do a face mask just one step and go from shud shudio sh sushido i can't say its name but once I was done with that, I am now going to forecast, showcase this product I got. Yeah. I already have some rods now, but I wanted to try this one on its own. It has various sizes for medium to long hair, which is what I needed, which I also have. But they're more on the smaller side. And I'm going to use some of my little concoction slash conditioner and purified water. But let me just show you what I do in the evenings. I grab some lotion and just slather it onto the skin, but not smooth it in. I just let it sit there, you know? Just don't let it dry as if it's like a, a skin lotion mask. Just let that lay there for a bit. And then, of course, got to make sure both hands are being taken care of even a little bit on the wrist because 
that happens. And this is what I use. Gold Bond Radiance Renewal. Coconut oil, coconut, cocoa butter, and shea butter. Um, I have used this before because it has multiple ceramides in the ingredient list. And then I also thought, why not I just read you an ingredient list sometime? You know? Anywho, this is what I did. I used majority of them. Only two were left behind, which I'm okay with because I wanted variety of curls. And here they are. This is the second day of them because the first day I was busy out and about and forgot to document the results. Yeah. So I'm satisfied with that. I am probably going to make a video of using all the curling rods I have and hopefully I become a Shirley Temple. So like and subscribe and as always embrace joy.